solve for x. Okay, so the first thing we need to look at here is that we have fractions that we are plusing and minusing. So we definitely need a common denominator. When you get your common denominator, you first need to uh, make sure that all of these denominators are factorized. This one is not factorized. That is a difference of square. So we can change that to 1 minus x and 1 plus x. Okay, and then here we can just leave this as it is. All right, now, can you see that these two are exactly the same? When you plus, the order doesn't matter. Okay, so you can even change that to 1 plus x if you want. It doesn't matter. But these two are not the same. When you minus, the order makes a big difference. So the only way that you could make these two the same is if you change the sign in front of this one. So instead of it being a negative, change it to a positive, okay? So change it to a positive, and then you are allowed to switch this around. There we go. So you change the sign, and then we can switch it around. So the reason we did that is now we have this, and this is the same, and this, and this is the same. So our lowest common denominator can just be one minus x, one plus x. So if you look at this one, what is it missing from the denominator? Well, nothing, it's got both of them, so that's good. Then if you look at this one, what is it missing? Well, it still needs a one minus x. So we're gonna multiply the top with one minus x, and what you do to, I mean, the bottom, and what you do to the to, uh, bottom, you do to the top. There we go. Now, what is this one missing? Well, this one is missing a one plus x, so you're just gonna multiply that at the bottom, and what you do to the bottom, you do to the top. And we should be careful, because here where we've got this bracket, um, in one of the next steps, we're going to multiply it. So that should actually go like that. And then uh, here it's not that important because that's, that's only one term. Now, in mathematics, when you have an equal sign, so like an equation, when your denominators are all the same, you can ignore them. So now we can just say x minus 3 minus 1 minus x, 2x plus 4 equals 1 plus x and 2x, which we don't need to put that in a bracket. Okay, but I'm gonna put that 2x in the front, okay? And so, now we just need to get rid of all the brackets. So, you see over here, here's where a lot of learners might make mistakes. So we've got a minus one over here, and then we've got this, and we've got this. So let's multiply these two brackets together, and then whatever that answer becomes, you'll put the minus one into that. So it's gonna look like this, minus one. Now we're gonna go multiply these two out, okay? So that would be 2x plus four, take away 2x squared, take away 4x. And then that becomes equal to 2x plus 2x squared. I just multiplied these together. Okay, now we're gonna go put the minus one into that. Right, now what's really nice is, here we have a 2x squared on this side, and we have a 2x squared on that side. So if you had to take one of them to the left or the right, they would actually cancel each other out, which is awesome. Because now we can just solve for x as per normal. So I'm gonna take all the, uh, you can do it however you want, but I'm gonna take all the x's to the left, and I'm gonna take all the numbers to the right. Okay, so on the left we would have x minus 2x plus 4x minus 2x. Okay, you see because we had that x over there, we had that minus 2x, and we had that 4x. And then we took the 2x and we took it over. And then on the right-hand side, we are going to end up with 3 plus 4. Okay, so if you had to go simplify all of this on the left, you'd say 1 minus 2 plus 4 minus 2. You could even type that all on the calculator, but it's going to eventually give you 1. So we're going to say 1x equals, and then on this side, we're just going to have 7. And so there's our answer, x is 7.